Hello students, this is the video of workbook lesson 8 in a tunnel. In a tunnel, now the first exercise is of tenses. For each of the verbs below, complete the table. You have given the verb bring. You have to write the past, present and future tenses of the verb bring. And you have also write the simple, continuous and perfect in all forms. Clear? First come to the verb bring. In past simple past tense, he brought. In simple present tense, he brings. In simple future tense, he will bring. Continuous, he was bringing. He is bringing. He will be bringing. Perfect past tense, he had brought. He has brought. He will have brought. Clear? Now, Come to the verb buy. In simple past tense, she bought. In simple present, she buys. In simple future, she will buy. Next, she was buying. She is buying. She will be buying. She had bought. She has bought. She will have bought. Now, come to the verb show. Simple past, they showed. Simple present, they show. Simple future, they will show. In continuous, they were showing. They are showing, they will be showing. In past perfect tense, they had showed. In past present tense, they have showed. In future perfect tense, they will have showed. Clear? Now, come to the next exercise of collective nouns. What are the collective nouns used for the following? Clear? Now, a bundle of hay. A range of hills, a suit of clothes, a pile of books, a bunch of keys. A group of people, a series of events, a pair of sorry, a pair of shoes, a heap of stones. Now, come to the next exercise. The words in the list below belongs to the same family. Unscramble the words and also name the family. The first word is chappals. Next, shoes. Next. Boots, slippers, sandals. All class of these object is called footwear. F double O T foot W E A R wear. Clear? Now come to the next exercise of antonyms. This is the exercise of antonyms. Write the opposites of these words. No prefixes need to be used. You have to make opposites without any prefix. Okay. Now, forget, remember, near, sorry, narrow, wide, smooth, rough, below, above, first, last, often, rarely, many, few, wise, foolish. Next, loose, tight, found, lost, bright ka dark bhi hoga, dull bhi hoga, dead, alive. Now, Come to the next page, page number 80. Match the sound words in A with the nouns in B. See here the answers. First is the ping of a bullet, the peal of a bell, the pop of a cock, the clang of an anvil, the twang of a bow, the whir, whir of a wings, the blast of an explosion, the rustle of a silk. Now, come to the last exercise of this chapter. Fill in the blanks with suitable sound words from the box below. There was complete silence in the house except for the creak of a hinge as the wind gently pushed a door open. Next, the workers streamed out of the factory Seconds after they heard the wail of the siren. Number C. The frightened children closed their eyes and covered their ears as they waited for the next clap of thunder. Number D. Standing on the deck, Raja could hear the deep throb of the ship's powerful engines. Next E. With the screech of tires and a grinding of brakes, the car came to a stop two feet away from the child on the street. 
Next, the uh, dog sat up and looked alert as it heard the faint tinkle of a cycle bell in the distance. Number G, last. With a great jangle of chains, the elephant lumbered across the temple yard. Now, in this way, I have finished this chapter 8 of work. Thank you, students, for this video.